Christian, amen, and he couldn't even stay all the days. They put him out the hotel because he went on a credit card and the credit card was maxed out. He was broke. The house that he was living in, his friend had to put a half of the money and buy the property next door so he could move in. They were poor. Didn't have a dime. And people were laughing at him because he was a senator. But see, while they were laughing, they didn't know they were laughing at a king. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. See, travailing represents giving birth. Yes, yes, yes. 
Anytime you get something in the natural, it has to first take place in the spirit. So what was happening was that she was giving birth in the spirit. Amen. And her spirit was about to catch her flesh was about to catch up with her spirit. Because she was about to conceive. But she had already conceived that thing in the spirit and birthed it out. See, when you feel the labor pains of life, can I y'all know something? Those of you that had babies, you know that when you have the contraction, see, that's an indication. Although it hurts, you know, although it's painful, it's really an indication that the time is near. Yeah, yeah. See, some of y'all been having trials oh, yeah. back to back. Oh, and it's painful. Very and it hurts. Bad. But that's only an indication that you get ready to push. Yeah, yeah. So you need to assume the position now to give birth. And the more frequent your trial, and the more frequent you walk out of one storm into the next, then that lets you know that really you almost at the door. You see? And so what you need to do then when it starts painting you that bad is you got to grab somebody and grab somebody because you know when you're having a baby, you got somebody in your ear saying, push. See, you done came this far. Why are you going to let the contraction cause you to throw in the towel? That's right. You might as well go ahead and push. And that's why I told you God is going to drop the spiritual veil on you because there's something that's in your belly. Amen. Yeah, yeah. That is time to really what? Push. That's right. It ain't time to give up. And the Bible says, so I'm reckoning that the present, the sufferings of this present time, that's what you're going through now, is not worthy to be compared with what the glory that's going to be revealed in you. So what is God saying? He's saying, do a little math, baby. And what you're going through is hell. If what you're going through is just really upsetting, if what you're going through is just too much to bear, then the glory is going to be way greater than that. 